it's certainly something I've witnessed myself when I was working in settings, you know, 10 years or so ago, we had a, a behavior management policy and then it became a positive behavior policy. And then now we're seeing more around the vocabulary of self-regulation, co-regulation. Do you think we've come far enough? Where could we improve? It's, it's interesting. It's, it's developing an understanding of empowering, empowering one another to talk and share best practice to I, the ideas of reflection how are we dealing with these situations in our day how how has Susan done it different to Jane or Michelle may have a different way to dealing it dealing with the situation that may occur um, and it's never shaming and over the years I've seen shaming happen in settings where a child is bitten and practitioners will go, that's naughty behavior. Actually, if we in that moment take the time back and look at our environment around that child, what was the situation? How could we have supported that child better? Are we failing that child's needs if we're not, if this has escalated to that point, which is the frustrations that they may face?